Hey everyone, Elder Brimstone here. Um, there was a hashtag tarot tag 15 that um, Arwen Lynch did, um, decided to do from somebody else, I believe. I'm not sure about that. Um, so I figured maybe I'd give it a whirl. <laughs> um, I will look up to see who actually had the hashtag first, maybe. Uh, link link that um, YouTube channel and Arwen's YouTube channel in the description below. Um, it's 15 questions long, so here we go. I'm going to give it a try. Uh, a little nervous about it because I don't really talk much, much about what I do. But anyway, um, what is your your current favorite deck? That would be the um, Nicoletti Ciccoli, I think I'm saying that right, tarot. Um, and that would be this tarot here. This is the cover. That's the uh, One of Cups card, the Ace of Cups, and the High Priest Priestess card. So it would be, that's my favorite deck right at the moment. Um, I'm trying to make this fairly quick. <laughs> uh, what tarot card do you think stands for you right now? I'm going to say the Ace of Cups. Um, I say that because uh, I'm trying to find more... Uh, love of self, um, trying to, uh, gather all of me together in, in one grouping and just love myself, uh, a little bit more. I'm, I need to be kinder to myself. I, I do a lot of self putting down, um, feeling like I can't accomplish things that I'm not doing things right or appropriate or same as someone else that they're doing better than me um, so right now that is what I'm doing is uh, trying to find more love of myself um, in my life and creating like affirmations and and doing things that I like to do because a lot of my life was concentrated on doing things for others um, and not so much for myself. <laughs> uh, question number three, what tarot card do you think stands for who you want to be? Well, that would be the High Priestess. Um, I, I want to use what I do in tarot to help others teach, to guide. Um, I feel that gently I like to do that, um, to, uh, to be able to, uh, oh, I don't know, be a wise woman, even though I'm told I am, I don't feel like I am. Um, I do have, uh, forms of ESP and, and feel that, uh, I do know things, I know, I know things that others don't, and, um, I would like to be, like, a guiding force to others, um, not that they have to follow me or anything like that, you know, like, oh gosh, she's a high priestess or something, nothing like that, just, just, um, letting, you know, uh, I guess just, Showing people what I know and maybe they can, you know, understand it and follow along. S stuff like that. Um, so, yeah, <laughs> I'm thinking the high, the high Priestess would probably be the one that I would want to follow more uh, and be more like. Um, number four, draw a tarot card and tell us how it answers the question, what does the universe want me, 
uh, to know right now. Well, I pre-shuffled the uh, Tarot of the Northern Shadows deck I have, so I already shuffled these. So, I'm going to draw this card. And to me, that, that card is saying to me that... Um, what does the universe want me to know? It wants me to know that I do have strength. That I have come a long way. That that I see myself as less than when actually this is that I die more than. And the it shows me strength and that um, I will be prosperous and that I shouldn't worry on things so much. Um, it shows that my cups more than one are full that I should take that into consideration. Um, and and that just have strength in what I'm doing and know I'm going in the right direction. That's what that says to me. Sorry about the car horn outside. <laughs> and my foot on the side of the bed there. Um, let's see. Number five. Do you have any cards that you must love in order to work with a tarot deck? Yes, there are decks that I cannot work with. I prefer visual pictures to read off of, to uh, give me a little bit of triggers. If it's just like a, a cup sitting on a card. I could probably read that, but I, I, I like cards that have more um, oomph to them, I guess you could say. It also gives who you're reading to a visual. Um, see, it shows them where you're going, what you're going off of, and what you're seeing, and where they can understand it, it more. So I like uh, visuals. Um, that's the easiest thing I can I can work with. Uh, why tarot and not some other divination system? I do use other divination systems. I'm just drawn. I can't explain why more to the tarot. Um, I use runes in a lot of my readings. I do use a pendulum, um, a scrying mirror. Uh, Ouija board, a just a lot of different things I do do use, <laughs> but these are the ones that I'm mainly drawn to: tarot and rune. Also, oracle. It, recently, <laughs> um, number seven. What's the first book you can remember reading about tarot, other than the Little White book? I assume the Little White book is the book that comes with some of the cards, most of the cards. Um, I would say the um, Tarot Bible. Uh, let me see if I can dig that out. Oops, sorry. Let me just show everything else in my room. Hold on. I'm getting it. Um, the Tarot Bible, I do go to that. I learn off of that. Uh, that's by... Ruth Bartlett. I will try to find like Amazon links to all the, these things if I can and put them in the description. Sorry, my sorry, my uh, camera cut off there. Um, but I will try to find links for everything and put them in the description. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Um, oh, otherwise, uh, Scott Cunningham, I think, in one of his books, but actually, in all actuality, I kind of knew about the tarot. I'm, I'm not sure where it began, but I kind of knew about the tarot way back. But books, I would say, was one by Scott Cunningham, and then the, the tarot Bible. Plus, I am also reading other things. There is one by Arwen that I, I am reading and uh, studying a couple other ones also. That I can't remember the name, so sorry. <laughs> and uh, Arwen's is intuitive reading. Uh, um, number eight. What tarot person would you like to sit down with for a chat about tarot? Well, 
Arwen because she is a big one. I mean, I'm not saying that just because this is her her pass it on tag here, but um, she's been she was an inspiration for me when I first uh, got onto uh, the YouTube channels and was looking through and and finding things that resonated with me. Um, I looked up to her quite a bit about the reading tarots and and intuitive reading. And then there was, uh, or is, excuse me, not was, but is Amber Moonraven. I love how she reads her cards too. There's also uh, Maya's Treasure Box. And there's, I had to write down their names, um, and there's a few others that I, I can't remember right off the top of my head, but um, I have subscribed to a lot of uh, tarot readers, but one that I would really like to sit down with and kind of discuss would probably be Arwen, Amber, or Maya um, for the time being. <laughs> that may change over time yes <laughs> somebody else might come along that I'm like oh and want to talk to that person too um number nine tell me about one YouTube tarot channel that you watch and why that would be Arwen's uh, because she's very uh, joyful and very uh accurate um, and uh always seems so happy uh, same with uh, Amber um, Moonraven. Uh, also, her um, demeanor is is really positive and happy. Uh, Maya's treasure box is Maya's very nice. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of different reasons uh, for the channels that I do watch. Um, not all of them hold the same thing so you know it's hard to go I can make a list of 20 different people 20 different things um, but I will list some links down below in the description on uh, the YouTube channels so number 10 how many tarot decks do you have right now I only have two I am giving my uh, uh, Maya's treasure box. I am giving her the Oceanic Tarot because it did not resonate with me after I bought it. So I did a drawing and she won it. So that will be going out the door to her. So I right now only have the Nicoletti Ciccoli uh, Tarot and the Tarot of the Northern Shadows. Those are the only two right now that I am working with. Um, I would like to gain more of them. Uh, my funds are kind of so I'm, you know, got to save up to do that. Because some of them could be pretty spendy, like in the 40s even. And I'm, mm. But yeah, they, I love I love the tarot decks. I love people are so very artistic. It it amazes me. Uh, number eleven. Do you mix oracles and tarot when you read? No, I do not at the time being. I have mixed tarot with tarot. I have mixed runes with tarot. But I have not mixed my oracle with the tarot yet. I had thought about it, but I'm just not getting the, the feel to do that as of yet. But I might. <laughs> um... Let's see, and this is the Oracle deck I have been working with. The Wisdom of the House of Night. Um, sorry. Let's see. So, PC Cast and Colette Baron Reed. It's very, I love the book. It's thick and it goes you know, by, whoops, by a card and description it's different because she says she's a goddess in it but I love the images and I will do an Amazon or whatever um, 
link to that also so that you can see that. Um, Twelve. Have you ever created your own tarot card or deck? I am in the process of, I have created uh, affirmation cards which are not out yet um, and I am in the process of making tarot cards um, and I might leave a picture clip in, in here for you to see what those, at least one of them looks like, uh, an example. Um, so yes, I am in the process of making a tarot deck. Um, number 13, do you read for yourself? Yes, I do, but mainly for other people. I don't read for myself as often as I do other people. Um, number 14, what are your favorite questions to be asked when you do a reading for someone else? I don't ask them for a question, really. Nobody has told or asked me a question um, or anything. If they ask for a reading, I will give the reading based off of what I feel. Um, you don't need to ask me a question. Uh, I won't do questions on love or jobs. I mean, it's I like in-depth in things. Um, I, I try to go in depth with my readings and it's not so easy, <laughs> but um, I find it hard to find an answer in the cards for just one question because it basically, they basically go about your whole life, you know, past, present, future. So I basically just tell them that I can read their cards. They don't need to ask me a question because the, the cards will already know if there's a question in there. So I just read them the cards. That's what I do. Um, number 15, over on the last one. <laughs> What's the craziest thing that has happened to you during a reading? I really haven't had anything crazy that I can remember happen. Uh, I will wait for that day though. Um, I don't, yeah, I don't remember anything crazy happening. But anyhow, that was the answers to the questions that Arwen Lynch had on her channel, which I will link below, that I think came from somebody else's channel, which I think she linked on her, her, um, video. And I will look that up and see and I will link that person down below too. I again will send links to the other people's channels that I have mentioned. I will try to come up with all the um, Amazon uh, <laughs> Amazon links to <laughs> the tarot cards and the oracle card. And I think that's about, I think I answered it all. And so I hope you like, subscribe, and check out below in the description on who's who and who's doing what and what and what and huh. And all that. Love you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.